Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be filming a what's in my work bag or a what's in my teacher bag since I am a high school teacher. And I thought that this uh, video would be fitting since I know in the States that kids are going back I think at the beginning of August, so in the next couple of weeks. Whereas here in Canada, we have all of August off and we don't actually go back until the beginning of September. So um, I have filmed a couple of these videos in the past or teacher type videos in the past. There is a what's in my work bag video I'll link down below or somewhere here if I can figure it out. Um, and that one's really helpful because it also includes the lesson plan template that I created. So if you're a beginning teacher or even if you're an experienced teacher, it still might be helpful for you. Um, but yeah, so just know I do have a couple of other teaching type videos um, on my channel. So, okay, time to get started. Whoa, it's really hot here in Vancouver, so I'm out of it right now. But um, I did also get a new work bag, so I thought I would show you guys that. Um, the last couple of weeks of work, I was using this bag here, which was just like a large leather tote bag from American Eagle, and it's fine and everything, but um, as I get older, I'm getting a little bit more of the back problem, so I decided to go and get a new backpack. So this is the backpack I got. I actually just got it shipped to me yesterday. Um, I did pack it up with everything inside so I could quickly show you, but this is uh, by this brand right here, and I watched a couple videos on how to pronounce it. I believe it is Fial Raven, Fial Raven, <laughs> um, and it is the Konkin uh, number two backpack. So originally they made um, the Konkin classic backpack, which is kind of like this is a little pamphlet that came with it, which looks like this guy here. This is like the updated version of sort of the classic backpack. So um, it has like leather straps or like leather handles here. The part which has like the branding is all leather and then has a few like leather tabs there. Um, it is also made out of G1000 uh, fabric, which is just better in the sense that it's more uh, resistant, like water resistant, wind resistant. I believe it has an SPF uh, UV protection of 50, so um, it's just more durable. So it's all sort of in that tag right there. Um, the last difference is actually inside the bag, and I'll show you once we start sort of getting into this guy right here. Um, this guy retails for $160 Canadian. Once you add on provincial tax, you're looking at a backpack close to $200, but I think it's worth it. The original Konkin, the classic Konkin, is um, actually only, I think, $100. This is the 16 liter capacity. Please know it comes in like mini uh, child size or children's size and like laptop size. It comes in different sizes, but the 16 liter capacity is kind of like the most frequent one that I see around here. Um, okay, and I also decided to get black on black, so black leather, black bag, because it looks more sleek, um, and you guys know that I love to wear like black and white and things like that. Um, but traditionally the Konkin number two comes with like contrasting kind of handles and things, so that's like the whole Konkin family. Enough about the bag, let's get to what's inside. So in this pocket here, there's two side pockets, as you can see, and one front pocket, and the first side pocket, I just keep my work keys, or this is where I will keep my work keys, That's right there, and my fob, and then in this side, I just put in my swab bottle. Now, please note, this is very packed. <laughs> it's really in there tightly, so if you have like a bigger swab bottle than this guy, because I have a, like a shorter, chubbier version, it won't fit in here, because like, please note, it's like, well, now that I'm doing this, it's like easy, but originally when I first got this, uh, water ball in here, it was like a little bit of a tighter squeeze. Okay, and then in the front pocket, I just have this little pouch right here. You're gonna see that I keep a lot of pouches, which has my earphones and my charger for my phone. And then I just have some hand lotion. So that's the exterior of the bag, pretty basic. And we get inside, it has the two zippers. Inside the bag, there's one like major compartment and then there is a pocket back here. And this is the other change to the Konkin number two is that it has a seating pad. The original one did as well, but it was just like a foam, a piece of foam. Whereas this one here is kind of like covered in that same G1000 fabric. 
So if you're out at a park or picnic or like this was originally meant for kids for sitting. Oh, there's my cat. Hi, Bean. Hi, Bean. She's ignoring me. And then you can use this if you're like sitting on the ground. Um, you don't want to sit directly on like the dirt or the grass or anything like that. So that comes back or that fits back there. Um, my MacBook Air also fits back here. And this is kind of nice because it adds a little bit of extra protection um, for my back for my MacBook. And then in there as well in the back, I keep some pens. I got this from Muji. I like it because it's kind of see-through. You can see what's in there. And I have some post-it notes. So that's just in the back pocket. And then the main compartment, we'll go through that. Please note, I do have my own classroom at work, so I keep a lot of my essentials and my necessities there, like my toothbrush, <laughs> my toothpaste, um, feminine products, lots of different things. Um, so. These are essentials, but please note I also have my own classroom where I can house a bunch of those other things. Okay, so in my first little pouch, I just keep my wallet. And I just keep my wallet in this pouch. I always keep my wallet regardless if I put it in a purse. I put it in something because it's like very smooth leather, leather and it can get scratched easily. And then I keep my mini pochette. My mini pochette just has like lip balm, a mirror, um, yeah, lip balm, a mirror, <laughs> and like a lip gloss. Oh, and a perfume. So just things I use to sort of touch up throughout the day. I really don't care about my makeup at work though just because whatever who am I there to impress <laughs> okay now I have a ton of these blue pouches and you can kind of see they're clear I get these from Daiso and they come in a pack of I think six for two dollars so they're really really affordable so in the first pouch you can see like they're like beat I've used them so much um, I keep let's see literally I threw everything from my work bag a month ago and just like threw it into here. I have some Claritin, um, so my allergy medicine. So if you ever have to take like, I don't know, Advil or Tylenol or anything like that for pain or headaches, I would always keep that stuff in your actual purse or work bag just because you don't want to keep that in your drawers because sometimes like the kids have access to your drawers and you don't want them to be taking any sort of medicine or anything like that even if it is over the counter um just note that because you are liable for them right um i have this which i showed in my last video which is the b12 energy spray um, i'm plant-based so i don't make a lot of b12 so i need that guy well actually you can't even make b12 you have to acquire it from food so um i have a bunch of different types of teas just because i drink a lot of tea i also drink a lot of coffee and I have gum, because you don't want to have any sort of like nasty breath around kids. And I have a bunch of mints in there as well. So that's what's in sort of like the first little packet. Oh, I also have this. This is like super squished. Um, this is a apple cinnamon breakfast biscuit. So if I ever feel like I have low blood sugar or I just need a little sweet snack, that's there. And then in my second pouch here, I keep a lot of wipes it looks like so I have wet ones um, sometimes in the morning if I'm running like behind and I have to eat my breakfast in the car um, or if I spill coffee on myself these are really good to have in the car um, another one is the Kleenex fresh and go these ones aren't antibacterial I believe the wet ones are so this is just also good um, or if you just want to wipe off your makeup after like being at work all day which is what I do in the car sometimes um, I have some Q-tips, but these are individually packaged so they don't get all gross and nasty. I got these from Daiso as well. I have a Band-Aid. I think I had, an, I think another Band-Aid fell. But a couple Band-Aids in there and I have floss. Like I said, I do keep like floss at work as well, but sometimes, you know, if you have to run into the store after work and you have something in your teeth, this comes in handy. So that's the second pouch. The third pouch, kind of embarrassing. I have a bunch of McDonald's coffee cards, like the filled ones. There's probably like 50 or so in here. I did not fill these all up myself. Please know that. Like my students give these to me. Some of my students work at McDonald's and they'll pass them on to me. So I have a bunch of those things. Oh, there's the other band-aid that fell. 
Okay. And then here's another pouch and another pouch. This I know is just my makeup pouch. Random makeup, like I said, I don't really care about my makeup at work. And then this last one, I don't know what's in here because it's not clear. Okay, now I know. So this is like a facial spray. So if you have like, you need a little pick me up throughout the day, this is really good. It's just a Dr. Dennis Gross set and refresh mist. Um, that's really good like after lunch and I have last block I need to get through just whoosh, freshen yourself up and you're ready to go. I have some dry shampoo by Acure because sometimes midway throughout the day you realize you got some greasy hair. Um, and then this which is like totally, I had a black cosmetic bag and it like rubbed all over the top of this but this is just deodorant by Tarte, it's vegan deodorant. I think every teacher should keep some sort of deodorant or antiperspirant around with them because if you forget to put it on in the morning and like throughout the day you're like leaning over the students desks and talking to them the last thing you want is to smell funky so you live and you learn deodorant keep it <laughs> um, so yeah that is everything that is in my work bag which doesn't seem like a lot but it's actually fairly heavy yeah there's nothing else in there so I'm gonna throw all this back in and show you sort of how much room I did have or I do have because in addition to everything here I will also have to take my lunch with me to work so you can see in my bag I still have quite a bit of space I have like you can see right there a lot of room about half of the bag I would say is full at this point so I have enough room to put some food um, if I have to get groceries in the morning and pick up a few things before work, I can throw it into my bag as well. So it's fairly roomy. I'm really excited to use this bag. I'm not excited to go back to work in a month, but I am excited to use this bag. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, yeah, other than that, that's it. This is my new work bag. Well, one of my new bags, because I'll probably still use my tote. And I also have a Zara backpack that, that I really like, but yeah, this is it. So if you have any questions about the bag or about teaching um, or any questions for me in general, please leave them down below. And um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.